Hello, and uh, welcome again to another uh, session on Hotfix Error from Coleman & Company. Today we're going to talk about using true type fonts. So under the Artworks tab, you're just going to select true type fonts, and you can see I am just going through and looking through my um, true type menu. Picked Arial Black, type in the text, set the size I would like, and then click the Select button. Now, what you'll also see is the word cheer here. It looks all filled in. Up top, under Convert to Hotfix, you've got three options. Uh, you've got Fill, Outline, and Fill plus Outline. What we're going to do for right now is we're just going to select Outline so you can take a look. And you can see you no longer see the filled letters. And we'll see what that looks like when we convert to Hotfix. You'll notice I just have Path. Select that click out into an open area and you'll see the little round circles there that represent rhinestones. I'm going to turn on the preview button so you actually see rhinestones and there you go. That's what cheer looks like. That's Arial Black Cheer. Uh, up at the right there you can see I can turn off the vector so I'm not seeing the line and at this point you can decide whether or not this is this is good enough. This is what you want to do. Now these are very different than the pre pre-digitized fonts that are, um, you know, designed specifically for rhinestones, but you can still make some adjustments. So, you know, for example, I just made the C bigger. Um, I can take any one of these and I can change the rhinestone size. So you can take a look at what this might look like with an SS6 stone instead of uh, an SS10 stone and zoom in for a comparison. Um, and I'm just going to undo that because, of course, you know, you want to want to stick to the same size for the moment. Uh, what we'll do next is we'll do cheer again. This time we'll see what it looks like with a fill and see if there's any difference. Again, with true type, these weren't designed for rhinestones. So we're, we're kind of going through a little conversion process. So same size, same everything. But this time I'm going to select fill instead of just outline. You go up to hotfix and you see I have a difference in my available selection here. Just going to pick this first area button, click outside the box, turn on preview, turn off my vectors, and that's what it's going to look like. Now I don't know about you, but you know again it's it's not particularly legible. Uh, you can adjust kerning manually like this, just move the letters around. Um, you can also do several other things. So the first thing that I can do to make a difference is I'm going to change the um, type of fill to hexagon. See if that makes a difference. I still don't like it, so I'm going to change that back. The next thing is just to change the type of fill completely to a more orderly kind of uh, grid pattern. You see that works really well for the square letters. And this is just a, you know, changing how the rhinestones are organized. You see it didn't work quite as well for the C. So maybe I'll just put that one back. Um, but after you're all done, you just do, um, you go to the send command, send hotfix to cutter, and you're ready to go. And again, that's just selecting true type fonts, whatever's in your system, choose the one that you like, type in the word, Select your size, hit the green button. Now you're going to go back to choose either fill or outline or both. Go to hotfix, click outside the area, turn on preview, turn off vectors. There's your word. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, quick demonstration. If you have any questions, of course, you're welcome to call us at 1-800-891-1094 at Coleman & Company. We, um, we'd be happy to help. Thanks. Have a great day.